Hey there everyone, welcome back to the Observer's YouTube channel for yet another episode of Cocktails with Chris. I'm your host Chris Markham, and in the past I've shown you how to make a margarita, I've shown you how to make a cosmopolitan, and I've shown you how to make a mojito. Today I'm going to show you how to make a drink of my own creation called the Case Western Cocktail. Uh, I came up with it a while ago and I've been workshopping it for a while and I think I've got it perfect and I really wanted to show you guys this drink that represents the history of our school. Uh, I'm going to talk about my theory behind it and my thinking process after I make the drink, but for now I'm going to make the drink for you guys. One special ingredient you'll need is blue curacao. So this is just an orange liqueur that's been dyed blue. So without further ado, we're going to start with a quarter ounce of simple syrup. Till shaker. Next, I'm going to do uh, citrus juices, half an ounce of lemon, half an ounce of lime. I've already cut them, so just to make things a little faster. For the blue curacao, we're gonna do a full ounce of this. This will make it really blue. And for the hard liquor, one ounce of Blanco tequila. I'm using a different kind of cocktail shaker than I've used in the past. So instead of one tin with a cap on it, uh, we are just doing two tins. This is called a Boston shaker. So what you do is pour into there, put it in, seal it, and the cold will make these tins seal together. So I'm gonna go a little slow at first just to make sure that the seal develops, and then I'll go ham on it. Unfortunately, no matter how much blue curries I'll use, you know, you're not going to get the dark Case Western navy blue, but I think this looks pretty great. So let's give it a taste. Mm. 
Yeah, that is good. So, my theory behind this is um, to represent the Case Institute of Technology and Western Reserve University coming together to make Case Western Reserve University. I would split the hard liquor uh, into two different drinks, two different spirits, sorry. So, I got this tequila and I got this aged rum. Um, really, you could use like any two spirits you want, just like in the, you know, in the spirit of the drink. It doesn't really matter what two it is, but I think that these two work really well. I tried a couple of different combinations, um, and I really like this because you get the agave flavors of the tequila and you get the funkiness of this rum. Then I've got, you know, split the citrus between lemon and lime, a little curacao to make it blue, sugar to make it sweet. And there you have it. It's just really pretty to look at. So, so, you know, go out there, make one of these, celebrate our school, you know, especially as we head towards the end of the semester. Um, and enjoy it. Uh, of course, enjoy responsibly, enjoy safely. Uh, only enjoy if you're legally allowed to drink and have a good time. So uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment, subscribe so you can see all of our other future videos and go back and look at the channel if you missed any videos. So thanks for coming guys. I will see you next time. Cheers.